Hi, this is Jennifer. Today I want to teach you how to customize your Shutterfly photo book. If you watched my first video, I explained how to upload the pictures into Shutterfly to get started. In this video, I want to take it a step further and teach you how to create a one-of-a-kind, unique photo book uh, that you can cherish for years to come. So if you see up in this right-hand corner, there's this customize page option. Uh, all you need to do is click that. You can also find the customized page under the pages tab. And about midway down you see this customized page, uh, also the shortcut of control A if you can remember that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and click customize page. Now I know I'm customizing my page um, because of this gray background with the white grids. That will be your clue that you are now in the customized view. I click on one of my pictures and you see these little you know resize boxes come up on all my pictures I can adjust the sizes I can rotate pictures by just moving this little toggle button here um, I can move pictures around on the page to place them however I want uh, I can also I can do this myself um, by just picking additional photos and throwing them on my page, and it just places them on there. Um, if you that's you can if you prefer to do it that way, or you can always go over to the layout option and pick a layout that you like, um, and let Shutterfly throw them into a layout for you. Uh, so okay, say I pick this layout. These two pictures look great. This one her head's kind of cut off so I can resize this photo which adjusts the aspect ratio of it and now it's a picture that is no longer um, her head is no longer chopped off okay. you see these green boxes those are text boxes you can also adjust those in the customized view that's something you cannot do um, on the easy path you're pretty much locked into the text box that it gives you um, but when you customize your page, you can change those. So let me go ahead and click on this text box here. And I want to um, type a, some text in here. And okay. Now this is something new that Shutterfly has added, this preview box. This shows me what my text will look like on my page. So I can go and I can change the size of that text. And as I change the text size, I can see, you know, what will fit into that text box. Uh, you can change uh, the, you know, the font. And you can also go ahead and change the color. So I can keep raising the text and I know with certainty that it will fit in my text box when I click done okay because of that preview box now say I I really want some large font on here okay now you see I have raised it to the 36 and now I get this warning text does not fit okay so when I'm in the customize view, all I need to do is just resize my text box and I can get it to fit. When you are not using customize view, you cannot do this. Uh, you will get that warning and it will, um, the text will not resize itself, the text box will not resize itself. Um, it will just cut the text off. Now, um, with my photo book I want to go in and change the background if I wanted to get more backgrounds um, all I have to do is click this plus sign at the bottom of my page and Shutterfly brings up all the possible backgrounds um, that you can choose from and you can see they pop up right here and I can go ahead and insert those and figure out which one of these backgrounds that I like the best um, for my page Okay. So let's go with that. Um, over here on the left hand side is where you're going to find your embellishments. And embellishments are like stickers, frames, borders, that kind of thing. 
again you can go to this get more stickers page and literally thousands to choose from you can search by type if you want a sticker a ribbon a frame um, by occasion you know I'm working on a baby book so I can click all the baby stickers to see um, what my choices are add those to my project okay so there I have some so this was on her first birthday so I want to use this number one so all I have to do is click it and then I can pull and drag it and place it on my page okay and now I again can resize it to any size that I want and I can rotate it um, however I like move it in this customized view um, anything you can really imagine the last thing I want to show you how to do is to quickly resize and align your photos okay so um, I have this page here I want to resize all my photographs to be um, the small size here so I'm gonna select that one and then hold on the control button and select the other two pictures on that page come over to this object drop down menu and I have uh, several choices regarding aligning and uh, resizing I want to match the width and the height because I want them to make them small like that and you can see they all adjusted okay so and I wanted to create a vertical column on my page now instead of me trying to figure out if they're evenly spaced what I can do is again select all my pictures come to this object drop down and now you see I have a even out vertical spacing option that I can choose from so I'm going to select that and it adjusts my pictures and now my pictures are evenly spaced so I don't have to worry about that well I hope you learned something and thank you for watching my video happy photo booking